not been out on bike for about a week. Been doing walking up near Crowder Cot. Uh, did some walking to Crow Mill. Then I went the other way south from Crowder Cot down to Hartington. Lost my car keys and everything. Which is going to cost me a couple of hundred quid to replace them. Which is great. Yeah, so I had to cycle for a while, just a week, but I always feel it, and I've not been doing it very regularly. There's no way I would have turned left there if I were going to work. Obviously I'm not. Just going to do a little see it circuit. I've gone past the longest day now. Tonight so technically we'll be drawing in. Yeah, so when I lost my keys, I had to get someone to come out and uh, bring them to me. Or a good uh, 20 miles an hour. Now, 20 miles away from home. Can I tell I've not done this for a week or two? A bit sheltered from the wind here. Might go through my spiel again. So it's 4th of July. It's my monthly ride to work video. Personal blog for myself. Do it each month just to catalogue the seasons and what's changed. Well, it's still a fake ride to work. Uh, Still on furlough. The lockdown's pretty much over. The company I work for, it's been back to work for over a month now. They've not contacted me once. We get uh, the weekly blog from the CEO. Uh, that's a generalised blog. He's talking about redundancies, whatever. But uh, not had a single word from the line manager or the general manager or anyone. I thought when they first opened they would have uh, contacted everyone just to let everyone know what was happening, be it good or bad. Give some indication of where we're going to be going back because like I say most people have gone back now where I work. It's not like uh, a hotel or anything like that or in any hospita hospitality business uh, I think it's just a piss poor show they can't tell you what's happening I'll give you a rough idea I 
weather's been quite mixed and changed for June. Windy, rainy, a bit cold at times. Uh, literal mixed bag. We did have the, uh, about two or three days with it getting up to 30 degrees, which you don't normally see in Britain. Today, 4th of July, as you can probably see, it's very uh, overcast, very windy. I'm sheltered a bit by these edges at the moment. Uh, but it's not overly cold. Uh, 18 degrees, so it's not cold at all. Just looks it. managed to finally do my brakes, led them, you mean it to do it for about a year, they used to fade, if you are using them hard going down a rough hill, front one would just die in totally, back one's not great, uh, so I bled them, they were pretty obviously needed bleeding, the uh, fluid that come out were really dirty, I think it contaminated a bit with water as well, Put it off so long because it looked a bit complicated to do it's not something i tend to do don't work on cars or anything it turned out to be really easy so that good only downside i think i might have rounded off uh, the x uh, attachment there for the allen key so i need a new one of those And that's generally why I don't do these sort of things. So instead of going to work, I'm just going to do this loop I do. Oh, I'm fogging up. Oh, I say it's hard work, but I've not even dropped down into to Granny Ring. Normally I would do here. It's funny, even if I'd been on road bike, use slightly different muscles, use more power on road bike, because it's high gearing, less ro rolling resistance with wheels. Uh, but I noticed the difference. The muscles seem to get used to one bite, as far as I've, I find out anyway, as far as I'm concerned. Might just be psychological for all I know. Right.
in Bromfield here. It started to rain in a bit. It did look black and dark, didn't it? So I'm not surprised, but it's been like this for the last uh, two or three days. So this hill is quite long, a bit of a slog to get up. Not amazingly steep. Just long slog. The rain I don't like though. So warm, you couldn't put your waterproofs on anyway, but you know. Oh, wish I could get up every hill as fast as that. <laughs> cool. Pretty much downhill for a long time now.
Right, so that was my ride to work, my faux ride to work, because I'm furloughed. 4th of July. One last thought before I uh, sign off. Ever since lockdown, I've seen a lot more of these like 20 year old mountain bikes. They're all over the place. All sorts of random shapes and sizes. I mean, if they've got forks, they're all sprung forks rather than air forks. Even my cheapo bikes got air forks. It's obvious what's happened. People probably put these bikes away when they're a kid. 20 years on, they get locked down with nothing to do. Not going to work, not doing anything. And think, oh, I've got to go out and do something. And the only thing they could do was go for a walk or get a bike. And they think, well, I'm not going to use the bike that much. I'll dig it out to the shed. Probably even the mum's shed. Dust it off a bit and go on a bit of a ride with it. So obvious. Just going past Tesco's there. Uh, you saw two, two bikes. I mean, you can tell by the colours and everything when they're like 20 years old or so. I just thought it was funny. And we haven't noticed a lot more walkers as well. There's like a path behind, uh, behind our house. We haven't seen anyone go up and down it for years. And when they first locked down, they want someone coming up every day. At least one or two people. Tailed off a bit now, now everything's pretty much opened up. But really funny to see, see people walking around back, back of us like that. Uh, but it's the bikes that I'm interested in, all old, crappy old bikes. I mean, they do the job, they do what you know, you're throwing them away. If you are going to use them a little bit, what's the point of buying a new one if you're only going to use it every now and again? To be fair, I'm sort of one of them. I've got my touring bike in shed. I haven't used it since I did my touring last year around, up in Art Hebrides. Now, when we first got locked down, uh, I used it to go shopping with because it's the only bike I got where I could put luggage on. I'm happy to see it hadn't seized up though because it got really wet. Done about 500 miles on it. Think about selling it, but who knows, eh? So that was my uh, ride to work. 4th of July, all well, pubs are open now apparently, although it sounds like a pain in arse to go, you've got to stay away from people, you've got to do this, you've got to do that, yeah, I feel sorry for the landlord for trying to enforce that, but hey ho, so like I said, this is my ride to work, my faux ride to work, and there's a dunk signing off, thank you.